Good morning from my home office uh, here in Southern California. I would like to provide an update on what we know today about COVID-19. This is a follow-up to a video that my colleagues and I produced about two weeks ago. Um, and there have been a few developments and we want to set the record straight. We want to continue to be a trusted source of accurate information for you. And there have been some developments so I would like to address those now. Here's what we know today. There is no evidence to suggest that pets are acting as a source of infection to humans. We are still monitoring the AVMA, American Veterinary Medical Association, and the CDC. All evidence suggests that this virus prefers human cells and that human-to-human -human transmission remains the only documented form of infection among people. Having said that, there have been reports that have come out of uh, certain areas. Most recently, a cat in Belgium is reported to have tested positive for the virus, but investigations are still ongoing and there is still some doubt as to whether this is evidence of true infection. Unfortunately, some news outlets are reporting on this prematurely and causing possible confusion. Additionally, the testing of the additional testing of the 17 year old Pomeranian from Hong Kong has supported the possibility that the dog zero converted, meaning that it had built antibodies in its blood against the coronavirus that causes COVID-19. The meaning of that is still unknown and investigators are still looking into it. What we do know is that a prominent veterinary laboratory called IDEX, along with dozens of veterinarians and epidemiologists, are monitoring for the evidence of COVID-19 in pets and have not yet been able to find it in over 4,000 test cases, including samples from here in the US and South Korea. Therefore, there is no need to fear your pets as a possible source of infection at this time. In fact, pets are proving to be a source of comfort, companionship, loyalty, and love during an otherwise uncertain time. Pet adoptions are up and they are generally up nationwide. It is important that we continue to provide you with accurate, truthful information and to avoid any misunderstandings and especially the unnecessary abandonment of pets. Thank you.